No, 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 no. I know it was exciting being out, but no, 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 no. Come on. You guys are doing the... Come on. I didn't know you went out there, baby. No, back up, guys. Back up. Can't go out there. How many more you got? Okay. Come on. Back up, guys. Do you no. need a flashlight out there? <laughs> Is this a game? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on, guys. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, kitty. No more. There we go. One kitty, more. Kitty, 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 kitty. There we go. Is that it? No, I'm going to double check. Yeah, okay. double check. All right. You got the, you got the bungee cord? Oh. All right, throw it by me. Okay. Just a couple things to tell ya. Um, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, here it is. Um, some some updates on things. Uh, I've got just this here. Uh, this is from Spoil Your Pet. <laughs> bothers me when I always cut myself off. Okay. So we've got one first? little package here and it says um, spoil your pets and it's from Massachusetts is it? And we have a paper that says thank you for buying from Pets Pro Shop on Amazon uh, but it doesn't, oh cool doesn't give me a name of who it's from, so maybe somebody will claim it. And this is something we can always, always, always use. It's a laser beam mouse. It's a Zany's laser beam mouse. These are good. These batteries last a long, long time. And we don't have one of these out here, so this will be fun to add to our small menagerie of things out here. So whoever sent this, please let us know if you... Hey, Jackie, you got something here about laser mouse a laser. Toy. Oh, oh, you're right. This is from S. Haylock. S. Haylock. She's the one who had sent some stuff from yesterday. So thank you, S. I appreciate that very, very much. We don't get the zany lights too often, and in there we use them up a lot. So, um, update on the floor is they ended up putting the last layer of polyurethane on this morning, and boy. It really stunk. It smelled so bad, and I can still smell it, but nothing like what I did earlier. So now, t so it's in the drying process, drying and hardening process. Um, tomorrow morning, they come in and put the four-inch vinyl mop boards all around, and then they're done. They're done, done. Uh, then we just wait. We wait for it to get really, really hard and dry, and it looks beautiful. I showed some of the web cameras what it looked like this morning or this afternoon, and oh, it's just as beautiful. Um, I've got just a few updates. Oh, and, and I know a lot of you have heard this, but for those that didn't hear it, <coughs> about the five cats that uh, caused me problems this morning, um, when I 
because of our situation here, we're not in the main um, rescue center area. We're squished here in this office. To get to the dogs in the sun porch, we have to go out and around. And so, of course, my curiosity, I'm looking in through the back door at the floor and seeing how it looks. And I noticed a washcloth was out in the middle of the room. And it's like, that wasn't there last night. So I took off my shoes and I peeked around, peeked out there. I opened the door and peeked out there. And I saw a cat running by me. And, and then I felt the floor and it was bone dry. So there was five cats out there. And so what they did, I think, Judy, you helped me, didn't you, on Tuesday? Yeah. With the sheet. We had it taped really, really good. But, you know, cats, you can't ever know what they're for sure going to do. Anyhow, they got a little bitty spot on the bottom that had opened up. And five of them had gotten out. One of them was... Um, Peverly, and she was just laying there all sprawled out like, oh, this is the life. There's lots of room because in here, you know, we're very, very squished. Uh, so we got them out, and then as soon as the floor guys came this morning, I went out there and I said, do you guys sweep that? Well, and back up a second. For one of the things I was worried about was um, if they pottied anywhere because, you know, they might have been out there for hours. So I walked all around, and there was no potty anywhere. And uh, then I thought, oh, the litter boxes are on the counters. There are real big, giant ones. And so, uh, sure enough, I looked in there, and there was potty inside there. So I got looking on the floor, and, of course, when they jumped out, there's litter on the floor. And now here's the guys coming to put the polyurethane on top. So I said, do you guys usually sweep the floor up before you put this on? And he, he said, oh, there's no need. You know, there's no, been no traffic. So I had to own up that, yeah, there was traffic. There was five kitties that got out there. So that added a little bit more work to them, but they've got it done, and it's just beautiful. And that floor belongs to uh, everybody that has helped donate, has every ha everybody that's helped um, with our votes and the support. It's, it's a huge joint effort on everybody's part. So I thank you for it, and I'm so excited. I can't wait. We've got... Tomorrow's Friday, Saturday, so we've got two full days left and Sunday morning before we can move everything back in. We've got quite a few people coming uh, Sunday morning at 11, or I'm probably going to have to start earlier. I just can't wait to get back in there. So that's the thing about the floors. The other thing is tomorrow, um, surgery day, and we've got a little change. Um, Steve and I did go to the show. That's why I'm late tonight. And while I was in there in the movies, I got a call from our, one of the vets, Dr. Amanda, that's going to be doing some of the work tomorrow on our kitty. So originally we were going to send up Jaina for her spay, um, Jaken for his um, x-ray, chest x-ray, to see if his heart is also enlarged like J his sister Jaina's, and also Fifi um, for her eye surgery. So Jaina is still a go. And but what we decided on was we're going to do her first EKG. So tomorrow, before surgery, she also gets an EKG, and that's a, that will be a um, a stat report where they do the EKG and they immediately call back with the results before surgery. Mm -hmm. So that's Gina. Um, they're very happy to have Jake Jake can come up for his chest X-ray, but we are going to cancel Fifi's um, X or Fifi's surgery. Um, she, the one that, I think it was a, Dr. Amanda on that one too, called uh, an, a vet ophthalmologist and explained everything to this doctor and he highly suggests that we wait just a little bit. Um, she's about four and a half months. Kiki, she'd like to, this vet would like to wait to do this uh, entropian surgery till um, Fifi is six months old. Not that it's going to make her eyes grow any bigger because we know her eyes are probably at the point, the eyeballs are at the point of where they're going to stay. But because her skin may grow a little bit around her eyes, um, we don't want to have to go back in later to do the surgery then. And, you know, the thing that we worry about because the eyeball is so far back in the socket that the eyelids have come forward and can rub on the eyeball, which can cause scratching, which then can definitely interfere with uh, her sight. But the thing with little Fifi's eyes is, you know, cats have three eyelids, the upper one, the lower one, and then the one that's inside, like by the nose. 
and her third eyelid um, is up almost all the time. You rarely see that on a cat unless they're really sick. And it just seems like when they re when they're sick, cats that third eyelid will come up, and you'll see that all covering the eye. But because of her eye structure, that third eyelid is just there. It's just in sight all the time. So we don't really want to have that like that. But in this case, maybe it's a good thing because with that third eyelid up, it's keeping, it's giving the eyeball itself some protection against those eyelashes. So maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> Picasso's going crazy over here. Um, so we're going to start lubing her eyes up twice a day. We're going to put some antibiotic ointment in her eyes twice a day just to keep um, things lubricated. And if the eyelashes do touch her eye, it'll give some kind of a protection and floating on that eye. So that's the story on that. Um, Donna's going to take the two kitties up for me, and then I'll probably go pick up Jake and Jaina in the afternoon. And then the other thing I wanted to tell you, and i got to get in my phone here to get a site. I wrote to Pet Finders a uh, thank you note any time that we win money from uh, the animal rescue site. You know, it's actually through Pet Finders, and the check comes from Pet Finders. So I, I emailed them a thank you note today, and she wrote me back. And I told her what we did with the $5,000 that we won last in the last quarter of 2011 and that then this thousand that we just won is going to go towards our new storage room and so uh, she and I mentioned about the support we get through our webcam viewers our friends from the webcam so she emailed me back and asked me um, how many people are on sometimes and uh, how we got started and things like that so I emailed her like a little story about it and then she emailed me back this afternoon and asked me if uh, they could put that in the pet finders and she's already forwarded it on to her editor or the CEO she said that enjoys hearing about how uh, rescues and shelters use the money that they've won and then uh, so I wrote up this little story and sent it to her. She emailed me back again and asked if, if she had my permission to put it on the Pet Finder page. And of course I said yes. And I'd like to, I would love to give you all the address, although it's kind of long. So there's no shortening it up for me. So if you want to grab a pencil and paper, I'll uh, give give you the website that is connected to the pet finders, and it'll it gives the story of of um, a little story on the rescue center and the winnings and about the webcam viewers. So are, if you're ready, I'll start. It's whoops, <laughs> maybe I will start. Okay, it's. Uh, the animal rescue site of course all one word the animal rescue site dot com slash click capital T little O capital G little I V E so it's so far it's the animal rescue site dot com slash click to give and two and give our capital letters slash A R S slash article slash feline feline with a capital F and then dash webcam dash E N C H A N T dash shelters with an S dash fans with an S 433 so I'll read it all again <laughs> the animal rescue site dot com slash click to give slash a r s slash article slash feline dash webcam dash enchant dash shelters 
dash fans four three three. That's all of it. But two the words that start with a capital letter according to what she's given me is to give, to give and feline. So I'm gonna step back to the cam or to the chat and see if that you guys understood that. Oh, you're not going to see. How did Bob do that? Ooh. Cool. Oh, you guys are wonderful. Thank you for putting that on there. And maybe tonight as the evening goes on, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, maybe you could pop that up every once in a while for the other webcamers to uh, get to see that also. Uh... And that, that's really all I have tonight, and since it's late, I'm, well, yeah, it's not really that late, but I've got some um, computer work I have got to get done yet tonight, so I'm going to spend a little time doing that, and uh, Octavia's looking in the new, in the rescue center looking like, when do we get to go back in there? So um, I'm going to sit down and get a little work done before I can go in. And everything's going really good here. You know, these kitties have been awesome. The volunteers have been really awesome, too. And uh, I just so much appreciate the volunteers' patience dealing with all this close quarters this week. And the kitties have been cool. They've been really great. So thanks, everybody. And um, I'll probably hop on the chat there after a little while. Are you guys having trouble? Well, they, they act like they've never seen yarn they before. This new food. Oh, the that what Pat brought? Yeah, yeah. the cool pate poppers. 